Discount Drug Mart has been a part of our lives since 1969. As we celebrate this 50th year milestone, it is impossible to tell the story of Discount Drug Mart without also telling the story of its founder, Parvis Bouje. Their stories are two halves of a whole. Parvis was born in the city of Tehran, Iran on November 24, 1927. His parents could not have known then that he would one day positively affect countless lives in a land thousands of miles from where he lived and played as a boy and a young man. Parvis grew up in a time and place where his family had much and then lost much. He knew extreme loss and disappointment, but it was these very trials that would ultimately forge the character of the man he came to be a man capable of facing overwhelming odds in creating a drugstore chain that over the course of its 50-year history has touched thousands of lives and changed the landscape of the drugstore industry. One of the first stories we have of Dad is at age seven, he uh, asked the servant who would have been a homeless person who was welcomed into their home at that time uh, to live with them to bake some type of cookie or pastry. He took them and put them in his wagon and he went to a street corner to sell these cookies to start raising money. So at age seven, he already knew that they were very poor and that his family needed money. Although Discount Drug Mart would not come into existence for many years, the spark was ignited in Parvis's young heart. He knew failure was not an option and hard work was the only path to success. In 1949, Parvis left his mom and sisters behind in Tehran and began his journey to a new life in a new place, America. My dad came to this country, oh, maybe 70 years ago. And uh, he got the money from his mom, uh, his brother, and I think he came with $90 in his pocket. Yeah, he went to California first. Uh, it was very, I think it was very expensive, but for some reason he came to Toledo, I thought it was cheaper. And that's where he met my mom. So he was originally going to be a doctor. So he was going to school to be a doctor. And my mom and him uh, ended up getting married. You know, they were dated and got married and then they had David. So he didn't have very much money. So I, he had to shorten the doctor experience and became a pharmacist, uh, which kind of worked out very well for everybody. Mildred Bouge was truly the love of Parvis's life. They met at a church dance and were married in 1952 after a two-month courtship. Mildred was not only his partner in life and the mother to their five children, David, Debbie, Don, Diana, and Doug, but a crucial reason that Discount Drug Mart is the thriving enterprise it is today. All employees love dad. He was everything to them and he was everything to them at the sacrifice of my mom. Dad was at all the stores, so you can't be at all the stores six or seven days a week without sacrificing your time. And I want you to understand the most important person in my dad's life was my mom. All of us knew it. There was never a time that we didn't know that mom was the most important thing to my dad. Never a time. Yeah, she was something. Um a saint, I consider, <laughs> my mom. Uh, but yeah, she made a lot of sacrifices. Um, I mean, she stayed up late at night till I got home, like 11 o'clock at night after he worked a, a shift. Got up early in the morning with us, did, I mean, all the chores in the house, and did all his banking and bills. Um, so she didn't have, I mean, her life was really him and the kids. Oh, he loved her. I mean, he, he loved her. My mom loved to laugh. She had the best laugh out there. She was um, selfless and tireless. Um, I, and I, in thinking more about it, I, I mean, I, I don't think she got the appreciation, you know, from all of us that she certainly deserved. Um, but she never complained about anything. Um, she was very humble, and she took being a mother very seriously. And, and a wife. 
My dad could not have become a pharmacist without her. And at that point, if he's not a pharmacist, Drug Mart would have never even happened. My mom supported my dad uh, at the very beginning, so dad was still finishing school before they were married. And so uh, mom was a legal secretary at that point, so she worked while dad finished school. At the same time, within the first year, they had David. Without Mildred's selfless support, both on the home front and in the business, Mr. Bouget would not have been able to achieve the success he did. With her, he could fly higher than an eagle, and there is no doubt that she was the wind beneath his wings. Mr. and Mrs. Bouget worked hard, but they also played hard, their children always at the center of the fun. Mr. Bouget had a talent for art and loved being outside, particularly around the water with his family. The love of water would continue with him his entire life. He'd find time to play ball with, you know, Dave or I, and be throwing the ball with him. He'd say, come on, let's go out and throw the ball around, you know. And he would, you know, he, he always wanted to do stuff with us. Uh, he used to love bike riding, and uh, we'd go down to the Ohio Canal and ride on the towpath, things like that. But, uh, um, no, he always, he always made time. Don and Dave and I worked together for many years, and we're all a little bit different. Uh, Don is very focused, whereas I'm not. And he's, he's very detail-oriented, so if he has a contract, um, I, I don't need to double-check it because I know he's gone over it probably five times. And Dave is, is the kind-hearted one. Um, you know, always been that way, and he always is. Mr. Bouget received his pharmacy degree from the University of Toledo in 1952. He began his career as a pharmacist at Gray Drug, then moved to J-Drug, where he poured himself into ensuring its success. He was the driving force, actually, when it came to the general merchandise and what he chose as his merchandise mix, uh, which was, in those days, uh, it was considered um, you know, revolutionary as far as the food element. At some point in time, he became confident that everything he was doing at Jay's, he could duplicate and would want to do at his own store. And then at some point in time, he said, then I'm killing myself for them. Why don't I do it for, you know, us, our own family and myself? I think my uh, father aspired to have a business because he wanted to provide for his family. I remember very well when my father told us he was going to start a business. He took us out to the Brown Derby in Independence and said, go right ahead. Uh, we're going to have dinner out as a family tonight, but don't order the most expensive thing on the menu because we may go bankrupt. Uh, when Drug Mart was to start, my first memory of it was laying on the kitchen floor and Dad had given me a poster board and I had markers, which I, you know, we just didn't get markers because those were expensive, but I had to do it right for Dad and make the first sign that was going to be out uh, so when the trades came to uh, work on store one, it would be the discount Drug Mart with our Abbey Road address on it. I can remember him disappearing at times. Um, he would be driving someplace. I didn't know where that he was going. Um, uh, that ended up being in Illyrio, Ohio. And then uh, after a time, maybe a few months, um, he asked me to go with him, you know, when it wasn't a school day. Uh, the building, the construction, roof was up, you know, floor was in, fixtures in place. It was time to start merchandising. So um, he would take me on the weekends, holidays, uh, if I was off from school. Um, our life was Drug Mart and there was never any resentment. It was actually fun. Every Saturday I would go into work with Dad. So that means I worked the same hours that Dad would work on Saturday. There was never shorter days or anything and that didn't matter to me. I mean I just realized it at this point that I worked all day um, with Dad. So I would, my jobs were stocking shelves. Uh, my dad would make buys actually right out of the house. In those days after putting in maybe all day at the store. He worked uh, 30 days straight. It was um, morning till night, you know, and uh, it, was, it was tough. It was tough on my mom. Mrs. Bougie, uh did a lot of the books in the early going. 
she would be, you know, she would write the checks out and to keep everything balanced so that Mr. Buje can concentrate on other things. But she was the one who did all the behind the scenes work, I guess is the best way to put it. And this way, Mr. Buje can concentrate on the business itself. You can't speak to the history of Discount Drug Mart without speaking to the character of Parvis and Mildred Buje. Once you understand who they were and what they stood for, it becomes clear that the same applies to Discount Drug Mart. My parents were unique in the fact that they, number one, cherished each other, um, cherished what they were able to give each other, whether it was time, whether it was a small gift, whether it was a hug or a kiss. Um, and I think my father was able to carry that through, not the hugging and kissing part naturally, but he, they were able to carry that through in demonstrating how they cared about their employees. Whether it be the person that swept the floor or the person that was their right hand, he, my, my father treated no one any, any more special than the other person. They never talked down to people. Um, they, they, they loved, both of them loved to joke with people. One of my Mr. Bujay stories that always makes me smile is he used to always uh, bet, uh, have little side bets on, on different things and um, he would always bet a quarter. And over all the years that I knew him, um, I won two bets. And I still have those two quarters in my desk taped down because I used to open up my drawer when he would come to my desk and I would kind of fiddle around for a pen and he would see the two quarters and just roll his eyes and walked away because he knew that I won those quarters fair and square. In the buying office was always pretty hectic and um, Mr. Bouget would like to take time and um, sit with a lot of different buyers. You know, I used to enjoy when he sat with me. He always wanted to know what was going on. And if he liked the idea, he would say, you know, what are we waiting for? Well, that's a rhetorical question. You know, that means let's do it and let's do it quickly. Mr. Bouget knew when to pat you on the back and when to kick you in the behind. And he was incredibly good at both. I mean, he made you feel valued and um, trusted and um, part of the family, you know. And, but you knew that if, if you needed a kick in a butt, he, he could be tough when he needed to be tough, and that was very appropriate. I mean, my dad had us work. He actually always paid us less than everybody else. Uh, so we were not raised on a silver spoon. Uh, we made pizzas at home, and he made, we always cooked, like on Sundays, made a bunch of meals, and we usually had those for the whole week long. He invented this one dish called tuna fish and rice because we didn't have a whole lot of money. So we did tuna with cheese, and then we put it over rice. And it, one of my favorite dishes, and I think it was Debbie's too, but the other kids, I don't think, like it too much. One day when I graduated from college, I had to get surgery on my hand, and uh, I had to wear a cast, and we were setting up the new store. I think it was either Oberlin or Wellington. And uh, so my dad had me work at nights because I, basically I couldn't do a whole lot of work, but I could supervise people. And he said, since you're, you have one arm, you're half a man, so we're going to have to cut your pay in half. My parents were very private people, but they embraced the people that surrounded them. That's the, that's the only way I can definitely. <laughs> we in many families, and my family's not unique in, in that sense, that we, we bleed drug mart red, white, and blue because it's, it's not that uh, there's family life and then your drug mart life, they're as one. He just wanted to work together. Everybody's equal. There's nobody that should be going out playing golf when the other one's working, you should all just keep working toward the same goals. What exactly was Mr. Bouget's secret to success? His Discount Drug Mart family will tell you that it was his caring, humble character, his financial savviness, and his undying determination. What I learned from my dad, there was no limit to what you could do. <laughs> I guess not to take no for an answer. Those are the things that Mr. Bouget always instilled into us. And, you know, always ask for that little extra, somebody will get it to you. And our, our kind of our famous line is, free isn't good enough. <laughs> he just made the right financial decisions. And I think a lot of that came from having nothing. So every penny you get, you're going to look at that penny as being so precious to you that you've got to do something right with it. The quote I remember Mr. B using often would be you take care of the little things and the big things take care of themselves. 
and you take care of the pennies and the dollars will come. We write on old envelopes, we <laughs> reuse envelopes, we print on the back of paper. We're very conscious of those pennies because he drove it into us every day. He never forgot it. He always would say to me, you know, very, very adamantly, spend the money like it's coming from your checkbook, Dave, not the company's. And I still try to do that to this day. Mr. Bucci was a uh, humble and respectful person. Uh, and he didn't treat his children any different than he did the rest of his family, the rest of the employees. He prepared uh, the next, that second generation uh, by the work ethic that he had, as, as well as the, uh, 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 you know, not, there's no silver spoon in anybody's mouth. One time he got these big 55-gallon drums of jelly beans and he had them to his house and he had the whole family out there bagging up jelly beans for, uh, to get the best price of Easter eggs. If we're out of product for something or we discontinue a product, a customer's asking for it, we'll go to any lengths to get it. We never stop trying. Drug Mart con uh, continues to thrive um, because, again, we offer you know, what people need on a daily basis. The biggest thing I remember back was when he brought the idea of the courtesy center. They didn't understand that you could buy stamps at a drugstore or send packages at a drugstore or pay bills, even on Christmas Day. Every time that we had this, he would add something new to it. You know, he'd start selling uh, money orders and um, UPS packages. He wanted lottery machines at the stores. It was April 1st and I got the managers together and I said, okay guys, I said, we got a new thing. We got to schedule you some time for um, learning and uh, to get you uh, up, to, up to snuff because we're going to start selling marriage licenses and we're going to have you perform the services there. And the, the funny thing about it was is they're all, oh, okay, okay, you know, like we do everything else, you know, so we'll do this too. But there was one guy I remember him saying, come on, it's April 1st. This is April Fool's, so he got me there and stuff like this. But they were willing to do anything. And to this day, I believe that the Courtesy Center is one of the busiest places in the store. Failure is not an option. I'm going to say 4,000 employees and probably 2,500 families that we support. And to all of us, this is everyone's company. I think the boys carry on that tradition that they never want to give up on anything. Whatever he wanted you to do, if he wanted you to work 13 hours a day, he worked 16 hours a day. Anytime there was adversities or bad times, I was always amazed at how he would come back stronger the next time, the next day. I remember even when we opened Brunswick with American Greetings, he was arguing with, he wanted a bigger card department. And the guy goes, they kept saying, we don't have any more, this is it. If you want more, we just gotta take this first row and duplicate it. You can't get any more. And he just wanted the best selection you could get. And we don't have fear of failure. Uh, we, we have uh, an attraction to, to success. He was uh, respectful and humble, but not weak. And uh, if anyone made the mistake to think he was weak, they got burned. <laughs> Despite his ironclad resolve and innate business sense, Mr. Bougie was a man who cared deeply about the people around him. The responsibility he felt for his employees became an essential part of the culture of Discount Drug Mart its very DNA. We talk about this being a family company and uh, I can remember we had, I had one of my office people that got very very sick and Mr. Bougie came up to me and said Tom no matter what happens don't let that fellow miss a paycheck. If HR gives you a problem I'll pay for it myself. Over time he really you know he becomes a father figure to all of us. Outside of my own father he's, he's like the, the, you know the best father figure I ever had, and um, so I came very quickly to view him that way. Mr. Bougie's caring and humble nature had a way of inspiring his employees. He was such a hard worker. He worked and nothing was beneath him. If you would come to work early, he'd be shoveling the driveways so you, you could get in and not slip on the sidewalk, and he would do, open the door, he would, he would wipe the floor, he would do anything. He never had a desk, an office, he just, 
made you feel important every time you did anything. He'd always come up and say thank you, and he just, you knew you were working toward a goal. You felt like you were part of a family because you just worked so hard with him because he worked so hard. He was always the last one to leave, and you felt terrible leaving before him. He just was brought on the best of everyone, I think. Mr. Bouje was also responsible for bringing out the charitable side of Discount Drug Mart. From the very beginning, he wanted to pay it forward, and he used the success of his business to do so. When he received his pharmacy degree from the University of Toledo, he was unable to walk the stage because he could not afford to buy his cap and gown. However, in 2008, the University of Toledo honored him with an honorary doctorate, and this time, he wore his cap and gown with his beloved family beside him. In 2010, he was happy to be able to donate over $1 million for the new College of Pharmacy building. This mindset of charitable giving continues today with ongoing donations to local schools and community organizations. When Discount Drug Mart can help one of its communities, it does. Discount Drug Mart has been an important part of our community lives for many, many years. They're a great supporter of our educational institutions, our school district, but most recently the city of Elyria uh, celebrated its 200th birthday. And um, so we were looking for ways to celebrate and fortunately Discount Drug Mart stepped forward and they were very involved in everything. One of our legacy projects for the Bicentennial was to replace our aging fountain in Ailey Square. And so Drug Mart actually had a number of fundraisers and ended up donating $50,000 in cash to help sponsor our new fountain. Discount Drug Mart has contributed millions of dollars to charity. And with Mr. Bouget's sons at the helm, the tradition will continue through the coming years. Mr. Bouget understood that his physical stores were the heartbeat of his company. This is how he ran his business, and this is how he trained his employees. He always said that he was happiest when he was inside one of his stores. On one hand, he always would say, don't worry about goofing around with anything else but the stores. The stores pay the bills. Everything else is gravy and fluff, and don't pay attention to it just focus in on the stores. And that holds true today, nothing's changed. All the employees were like his family. I mean, and his favorite day, and he always used to tell me this, was, it's not being in that office. He goes, the office is necessary, but he goes, I love being in the stores. I wanna talk to the people, I wanna talk to the employees, I wanna talk to the customers. Mr. Bouje insisted that his customers be treated like guests making the customer feel welcome and giving them what they wanted to make their lives easier was and is the cardinal rule at Discount Drug Mart. One of the most important things and something that he taught me early on was uh, customer service. Uh, listen to the people as they came in. And then Mr. Bouget would come over and he says, everybody that comes in that front door, you say hello to them. So I was kind of a greeter, I guess, one of the first greeters ever. And uh, he said, if, ask him, like, can I help you find anything? Is there anything you can't find? And if there is something you need, let us know. We'll see if we can get it for you. Catering to the consumer and him being the most important person being treated as the guest in your home, which is the store, so. If choosing a successful location is an art, then Mr. Bouje was a master. He did that so often, it was amazing how he would have the foresight to, to see a location and project that that will be uh, a, a, good, a good location for the customers, for the company, and why that would be. He could just anticipate that. We would spend a year, two years sometimes on specific sites or specific towns. With the developers, we were always you know, looking to develop and build more stores. And uh, he was just phenomenal in the way he was able to be humble and respectful, uh, listen to them, and uh, be able to negotiate the, the toughest, the leanest, the best leases we could get, and to understand the market. All his stores he looked at like they were his kids, like they were children. And what do you do with kids and children when you're raising them? You spend time, you nurture them. And so yeah, we could have added 15 stores in a year, but you know what, we wouldn't have been able to give them the attention that they needed to be successful. As we celebrate the 50th anniversary, Discount Drug Mart has continued to grow, 
from one store in Elyria to over 75 throughout Ohio. They are now ranked in the top 10 drugstores in the nation. The current warehouse is 575,000 square feet, over eight times larger than the first original warehouse. Discount Drug Mart is stronger than ever. It's impossible to attend a local sporting event without seeing a Discount Drug Mart logo, supporting the community and making a connection with the fans. We've known the Bougiers for a number of years. Um, and what strikes me the most about them and, and, and uh, Discount Drug Mart is, is how family oriented they are. We're kind of drawn to people like that. Uh, the things that they've done in the community, how involved they've, they've been in the community, uh, deserves the support of all of us in the community because they do such a great job. I mean, and it's, and it's really sincere, sincere and heartfelt. Uh, it's not something that you see every day, especially in, in, in the world today. So they're good people I and mean, good, good things should happen to good people. Mr. Bougie saw his wildest dreams realized, and both he and his wife Mildred were exuberant about Discount Drug Mart's growth. Dad would come to visit about once a year, and he would always talk to me about things that he was uh, so happy about, and he'd say, Diana, can you believe, can you believe that we have our first semi? I remember, can you believe we have our first loaf of bread that has our Drug Mart logo on it? You know, can you believe the warehouse is expanding and it's three times as big as what you remember it? Um, and then he, one time he came and he says, Diana, you know, I think, I think stock people are going to be able to be owners in the company. And he said this to me many years ago. And I said, really, Dad? He goes, yes. Yes, 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 I'm working on this, I'm, I'm working. I think this can happen, I, I think this can happen. I mean, we were the only one that had a large durable medical good uh, department, and that has grown to over like 80 feet in the stores. And we actually bought a, a company called Hastings Home Healthcare that kind of finishes the circle, as you say, it's called 360 Care. And uh, so we can take care of the patient, we have facilitators in the hospitals, uh, we have mo uh, vans that will drive the supplies at our house, like hospital beds, oxygen. And then we have the regular goods that uh, we carry in the store, like the walkers and commodes and stuff like that. In 2010, Parvis lost his beloved wife, Mildred, and five short years later, he joined her. Today, the future of Discount Drug Mart is safe and sound in the hands of his sons and the employees he so loved. What's keeping the company going at this point is, um, number one, I believe my brothers. And I also believe the people that they surround themselves with. I think the people that are involved in the business today have a true commitment. They've come from many other places, whether it be Walgreens, whether it be Medic, whether it be Walmart, whether it be Lowe's, they experience the big box, big store uh, mentality and found that working in this type of environment um, was just so much more satisfying to them. How do the Bougie Sons see Discount Drug Mart maintaining its place in the future and thriving? He wanted to continue to grow, continue to innovate. He never wanted to just stay stagnant, you know, because otherwise if you stay the same, everything's going to pass you by. So we're actually working on a new uh, facility in Avon Lake. It's called, uh, it's called Health Solutions. At uh, Drug Mart Health Solutions, we have our specialty pharmacy, which is Gentry Health Services. Um, that's an important area, it's a space that we need to, uh, to play in and be, uh, in order to be successful. In addition to that, we have a contact center, and our contact center answers thousands of calls um, on a daily basis. Uh, lastly, we just implemented a central fill solution, and we're fulfilling thousands of prescriptions on a daily basis for our stores. It's important because pharmacy is changing at a rapid pace and it's going from a fee-for-service model to a valued care-based model. And that's important because uh, Drug Mart Health Solutions allows our, our pharmacy team to 
practice better customer service and promote clinical programs such as medication therapy management and immunizations and enrolling patients into our medication synchronization program. And those are all very, very important because we need to provide positive and, and healthy outcomes uh, for our patients that choose Discount Drug Mart. This is where our future is for, for pharmacy and for Discount Drug Mart. But Mr. Bucci always would love to have everybody own part of the company. When he did pass, uh, the idea was how do, we, how do we continue his legacy and how do we make sure this company doesn't become part of CVS or part of Walgreens, right? Which brings us to what would surely have been one of Mr. Bujay's most proud accomplishments, the implementation of an employee stock ownership plan, referred to as ESOP. Mr. Bujay would be very excited to see that more and more of his uh, extended family is going to own uh, stock and it's going to be much more difficult if a suitor comes. This ESOP program is a great thing because you know it, it just instills more loyalty with the employees that we have and can attract future employees. There would be nothing that would make dad more happy to know that the employees would finally have that opportunity and to be a part of this but again it's going to come back to it's not just that they have a part of this but that their families will then really have a part in this at that point so it would come right back around full circle to when he started this company and the sacrifices that he made with our family would have been exactly where it ended up was that the families who are with Drug Mart would have been taken care of because now it is employee owned and now it will be something that they can continue to grow and all of this because a man with a big heart, a passion for his family, and an unbreakable determination dared to dream. The success of Discount Drug Mart will continue even though Mr. Bouje is not here with us. And he knew that one day he would not be here. And so he made an effort to uh, make sure there were pieces and parts um, of him and all of us. And that's what's really guiding Discount Drug Mart present and in the future. And just another successful story in a great book with no ending. And Mr. Bouge, I always would say that, uh, you know, one day we'll go back and read these chapters and the story will keep going on and on. I'm very proud of him for what he accomplished and, uh, uh, and how he, he was in, made himself a part of other people's lives too. As we celebrate this 50th milestone, we know Mr. and Mrs. Bouget are shining down on the people they love. He started out being my employer and my boss and my mentor. And hmm. <laughs> one day we were at his house and uh, I talked to him about what he should be proud of and all the people that he had helped over the years and all that he's provided and given to people. And he's such a humble guy. He said, I didn't do anything for them. They did it all for me. <laughs> I mean, he would be proud. And I wish he was here to see the 50th. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. You'll find everything you need. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. You'll find everything you'll need. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. We have everything you need. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. We have everything you need. No. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. You'll find everything you'll need. The Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. They have everything you need. <laughs> Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. You find everything you need. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. You'll find everything you need. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. You'll find everything you need. 
Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. You'll find everything you need. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. You'll find everything you need. I'm not going to Hollywood, am I? Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. You'll find everything you need. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. We have everything you need. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. We have everything you need. <laughs> Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. We have everything you need. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. Discount Drug Mart saves you the run around. You'll find everything you need. <laughs>